Nearly a month after Grammy-nominated rapper Takeoff was shot and killed in Houston, a man who was there that night has been arrested on gun charges. Cameron Joshua has not been charged in Takeoff's death. He made his first court appearance this morning. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner lays out what's expected to happen next. The attorney representing Cameron Joshua says he was at the club but has nothing to do with the shooting. Wearing an orange jumpsuit, 22-year-old Cameron Joshua appeared before judge Wednesday morning. Prosecutors say they have surveillance video and an eyewitness who says Joshua had a gun and he was present when rapper Takeoff was killed earlier this month at a Houston bowling alley. No one has been charged in Takeoff's death, but Joshua is facing two charges of carrying a weapon. We believe Cameron Joshua has been appropriately charged in this case and we're continuing our investigation into the death of takeoff. His attorney, Christopher Downey, says the DA's office would have charged him in the shooting if they believe he was involved. I haven't seen anything to suggest that Cameron Joshua had anything to do with the shooting. In April, Joshua was charged with burglary of a motor vehicle. According to the Harris County Sheriff's Office, Joshua and a second suspect tried to burglarize a man's car at a gas station in Northwest Harris County. As for today's case, Joshua's bond hearing is scheduled for next week. Mr. Joshua was on bond for a uh, an unrelated matter, uh, uh, possessing a fake ID, and uh, the case was uh, reset to determine conditions of bond, whether he'll be held uh, at no bond because he's alleged to have committed an offense while on bond, or whether he'll be given a reasonable bond. Downey did not say if Joshua or Takeoff had any prior relationships. He also wouldn't say if his client was playing dice. We will continue to follow this story and keep you posted on when his next bond hearing will be. Reporting from downtown, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.